Hello everybody, Anton is here, and in this video I want to explain why 3D Code Fish is so cool. So right now I don't, I don't have any symmetry on, I go into uh, press S, jump into the symmetry menu. It's kind of enabled, but I don't have any symmetry planes activated, so I'll activate them all. I can then see them here, and let's do a cut. Like that, switch to rectangular, do another cut. And I'm trying to achieve some kind of industrial profile right here. All right, so this is more of a you know, traditional symmetry you can find in any place other, in other software. What's really different about it is that if I turn off the symmetry here and then go and do a cut from here, I go back and at angle symmetry, it still recognizes this object as, sym as symmetrical. It does it because it uses not the topology of, of the object, but the bounding box. Uh, and the actual size of it. So it's picked it from the boundary box, so you can still go and do all kinds of stuff. Let's like that, like that. And this is really cool. And then you can unhide some of that, but it will go through the whole object as well. So be mindful of that. Anyway, if I go and turn it off again, and then I decide to cut through here, so I'm ruining the bounding, uh, like boundaries, the boundaries of the object, and I turn off the enable symmetry here, it's actually still positioned in the right spot because it's saving the state of the bounding box. If I reset it by picking from the bounding box, you can see it moves a little bit offside, and then you can, you know, do your stuff. Or this is kind of uncommon. I usually just do this. And I don't want to, you know, ruin the bounding bo the boundaries of the box. Also, another really cool thing is that, well, you can have the radial symmetry here, and let's do a couple of circles. Let's do circles and make a bit more sense. They go all around. Again, we're doing the radial symmetry on non-symmetrical squarish object, which is really cool. Let's go back into our, uh, our old symmetry type, and then you can also pick this symmetry point in any place around. So let's pick it there and do a couple more holes. And we can go then and go back, do the holes like this. So we can move our symmetry and play around with it. Okay, let's talk about the drawbacks, right? So what's wrong with this symmetry? What's kind of, what's What's bad? Okay, so for example, in ZBrush, if you have symmetry based on topology, you can repose the object and then, you know, paint a sculpt on the finger, and that finger will be reflected on the other side of the body. Here, you cannot do that because symmetry here is not based on the topology. So it can be an issue for some people. It's not really an issue for me because I never. I'd rather live with this boundary box symmetry then rather than fight with zbrush symmetry because i don't know i had so many issues when i would input an object there inside zbrush and it would say me that it's not symmetrical and it cannot find a possible symmetry because there's some kind of misaligned point there and uh, when here i have it always durable baked to a boundary box and yeah i found it at the end of the day i found it really cool and really useful fast to adjust, fast to, you know, work with, and pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful, and see you next time.